In today's video, we're gonna be talking about five essential tools that you're gonna need if you're a beginner to cut your hair at home. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and hello, if you're new, make sure that you subscribe before you leave and click the little bell, that way you're always notified every time I upload a new video, which is going to be a lot. So you don't wanna miss out. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five essential tools that you're going to need when you wanna cut your hair at home yourself. These are five things that will help you so much. It will make cutting your hair so much easier. Now, I do a lot of hair videos on my channel, so make sure that you're subscribed. That way you don't miss out on any of these videos. They're very, very helpful and useful tips. But that out of the way, let's get to the fun part. I wanna show you guys five tools that is a must when you're cutting your hair at home. I've been cutting my hair at home for a long, long time, years and years. The first thing that you're going to need it's kind of optional, but for me it's a must, and it's a hair straightener. I have this one by Chi, and it's really, really good. But any hair straightener will do, and the reason that we need the hair straightener is you have the option, you can cut your hair when it's wet, which is easier for some people, which is totally fine, or you can cut your hair when it's dry. For me personally, I like to cut my hair when it's dry, just because that way I'm saving length. Um, when it's wet, I tend to cut more, and when it's dry, I tend to cut less. So for me, a hair straightener is a must. It's really easy to see where you're cutting and it's really easy to like differentiate where I want my layers to be, especially when I'm framing my face with my layers. Straight hair is a must because that way I know what it looks like right after I cut it or trim it. So a hair straightener is so, so helpful. Um, it just makes things so much easier. It makes things go a little bit quicker and you kind of get to see exactly where you're cutting, exactly what you're cutting, and exactly how much you're cutting. The next thing you're going to need is a comb or a brush or a rat tail comb. Something to, first of all, get the knots and tangles out of your hair, which is a must. You have to get those out of your hair before you cut it. Um, and I like to use a big giant comb like this. You can get this on Amazon, you can get this at the dollar store, you can get it at Walmart, anywhere. Um, it's very, very inexpensive and I like using a wide tooth comb because it's just really easy to run through your hair and it doesn't break a lot of hair. For me, this helps my hair not to break off as much. And then I also love using a rat tail comb when I'm cutting because I get to like really pull on the hair and I don't have to worry if like any pieces of my hair um, are not cut evenly because the rat tail comb, the teeth are so close together and thin that it pulls all of my hair exactly the way that I need to. Um, so I don't have to use my fingers like this. Um, this is really, really easy and convenient and then I can just cut. And I also like using the rat tail comb because when I brush my hair forward, I can kind of see where the layers will fall when I'm cutting. So right here, I would cut it diagonally and the rat tail comb just made it so easy for me. I don't even have to like take the comb out. I can just cut just like this. So combs, brushes, and rat tail combs are essential. They make your life so much easier when you're cutting your hair at home. The next thing that you're going to need is something that I can't really show you guys. Um, it's a mirror, a giant mirror. So as big of a mirror as you have, use that mirror because it's gonna help you a lot. You want a mirror where you could see everything. Even if you could get two mirrors, one in the back and one in the front, that, that way you could see what's going on in the back. Um, or even like a handheld mirror, you can like kind of put it in the back of you in front of another mirror so that you can see what's going on in the back when you're cutting. You want to make sure to look at your hair before you cut it so you know where you want to cut, how much you want to cut, what kind of layers you want to cut. Um, get a look of your hair before so that you know what you want to do to it. Um, and a mirror is very, very helpful, especially a big long mirror uh, right in front of you. I like to use a big long mirror because my hair is long. So I like to use a big long mirror and then I like to just um, cut using that because I can see everything and also like if your hair is long and you're stretching your hair out like hella far you want to be able to see that so you want to get a mirror where you can see everything even if your hair is like two feet away from your face 
you can still see what you're cutting and where you're cutting and how much you're cutting. It just makes everything so much easier. It makes everything go so much smoother. Okay, the next thing that you're going to need is scissors that are made for cutting hair. Now, a few of my hair cutting videos, when I just started out cutting my hair, I didn't have these kinds of scissors. So I would just use like regular fabric scissors or whatever scissors I had in hand. And I'd use those to cut my hair and it worked perfectly fine. But I got so many comments, uh, even from hairdressers, from like anyone and everyone commented on that video. Oh my god, you're using fabric scissors. Oh my god, you're using those kinds of scissors. It's going to destroy your hair, blah, blah, blah. Now, in my experience, personally, it never destroyed my hair. It works perfectly fine. And if I didn't have these scissors, I would use those scissors. But that's just me. The reason that hair scissors work so well and that it is kind of an essential is because it's super sharp so it cuts your hair so beautifully like one little snip and your hair is cut and um, the damage is gone it cuts the split ends off really beautifully and it just your hair blends really beautifully when it's cut with hair cutting scissors if that makes any sense also it's quicker and they're smaller so it's easier to work with um, and I have here two of them I got both of them on Amazon they were very very cheap I'll link them down below if you guys are interested a lot of people have told me that when you use the regular scissors or fabric scissors to cut your hair it causes split ends now in my case it never did but who knows like everybody's hair is different so on some people's hair it might actually cause split ends and so that's why it's best to just get yourself a pair of hair cutting scissors they're very nice they're very sharp they're very inexpensive and they work really beautifully they just help things uh, blend really well the next thing you're going to need is a long towel or a big ass cloth or like um, like a big plastic where you can stand on top of while you're cutting your hair. Now this is really important because if you're a beginner and you're cutting your hair, hair at home, you don't wanna worry about the mess that you're about to make because you're gonna make a mess. And you don't wanna worry about your hair getting just everywhere and all over the place. You don't want to have that in your head while you're cutting because you just wanna focus on your hair. So what I like to do is just lay a towel on the ground and then start cutting my hair. The cleanup is really easy right after that, especially if you use plastic, you can just pick it up and throw it away. Um, so it's really good to like plan your cleanup situation so that you're not stressed out about it when you're cutting your hair. And the last thing is totally optional, but I really think this helps a lot. When you're cutting your hair yourself at home, you're gonna be nervous. And this might not be for everybody. What I like to do is make myself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, or pour myself a glass of wine just to wind down and relax when I'm cutting my hair and not just overthink everything. Because the more and more you do it, the easier it gets. But I know that the first few times it's nerve wracking. So you just want to have something with you just to relax you and calm you down. This is totally optional. Pouring yourself some wine or a drink might not be the best idea. You know, because you're cutting your hair, you have scissors, you, don't, you just don't want to get buzzed and mess up your haircut. So this might not be a really good idea for you, but for some people it might just, you know, calm the nerves while you're cutting. Um, but coffee and tea, just something to just relax you and help you just not overthink cutting your hair. So these are the essential tools that I need with me when I'm cutting my hair. It helps me so much, it makes the whole process easier and wicker my haircut comes out exactly the way I want to because of the tools that I'm using and I wanted to share that with you guys in this video I'm not showing you how to cut your hair but if you guys want to check out how I cut the layers into my hair or how I frame my face or how I create feathered layers I'll leave the playlist linked down below so you guys can go check that out easily. Make sure that you're subscribed and you click the little bell that way you're not missing out on my hair videos because I'm going to have a bunch of surprises for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!